Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our July 16th new releases. Yeah, it's the 16th. So this week we have our October monthly, the matching weekly and decorative kit. We have another kit as well. And then we have some like knit plaid type of foil. Um, and then of course the pet tape that matches the October monthly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the foil first because we finally brought an item to the shop that people have been asking for. So hopefully you guys are happy about that. So let's go ahead and get started with that first and put all that to the side. Um, so first off, we'll actually start with this first. We have obviously a ton of people are offering terrible um, like washi where you can be like super versatile with it, tear it how you want, where you can like trim it with an exacto knife or whatever how you like. Um, so we have that finally available. So we uh, we have it in not only the washi paper um, so that you can like tear it and have like an organic edge, but we also have um, because it's like washi paper. If you lay it on top of a sticker, it like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like kind of like almost like cloudy because the washi paper itself isn't like as transparent as transparent matte is. So we also have it, these available in transparent matte as well. Um, and what they are is they're just like one big sticker. If you aren't familiar, they're just one big sticker. And for the washi version as well it's also one big sticker but because it's washi you can easily tear it into like whatever shape you might want and it gives you more of an organic edge see but the transparent matte does not tear just due to the material you can't really tear it so this is more transparent so you can lay it layer it like on top of a sticker like say you have like um like a paper strip or something. Let me see. I have one right over here. So you have like this paper strip here and you wanted to like make this strip like have foiled plaid on top of it. You could just lay this on top and then cut out around it to make your own um, like overlay for it. So that's like kind of like the intended use for the transparent matte version. But then with the washi version, it's more intended for you to like rip it because once you layer this over a sticker, because this is like kind of like almost like it's more opaque than the transparent, um, it doesn't look as good in my opinion for like an overlay. That's up to you. So yeah, so we have the washi version. Now that I ripped it, it looks messed up, but it's fine. Um, we have the washi version and we have three different types of plaid here, as you can see. And then we have a gingham. And you can get these in any of our foil colors. And then we have the same thing again, but this is in transparent matte as usual. So you can pick up your choice of paper. I went ahead and made the default option for these washi just because I feel like the washi is going to be more popular than the transparent matte, but you can always like just manually select transparent matte if that is what you prefer. To go with the kind of like fall theme we have going on, we have these thick knit dividers and these thin knit dividers. We do these every year, but usually they're only available for like four or five days because um, that's like normally how we did our two hour Tuesdays, but now with our new releasing um, these are going to be available for a couple months so definitely check these out everything is also um, an additional 10% off this week as usual um, and then we also have the washi version as well so we have the thick knit washi and the thin knit washi so that is this week's foil um, Next, I'm going to go ahead and show you the monthly, just because I think it's so fun. I love this month's, I love the October monthly. 
Um, so this is October. This is the A5 wide version of it, but we also offer the B6. Um, and it is in champagne gold foil. It's very like pinky nudes. So up here we have, I just love it when I tell him that I'm filming and then he just comes up with, my husband just comes up with more ways to be as loud as possible. Um, so there's a clothing rack here with a foiled um, coat rack. And then here we have some cinnamon rolls. Mm. And then we have a book here with a foil lock, and there's a key on the book. And then, of course, your florals here. More florals, your 1 through 31 date dots. We have Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Indigenous Day, Halloween, and then birthday stuff. And then for the last page in the A5 wide, we have... This is the decorative version, but of course you can pick up the checklist version if you prefer that. Um, so here is the little sidebar. It's this really pretty like outdoor cafe-ish scene with some foiled string lights, some leaves sitting on the table, and then there's like some foil confetti in the florals as well. Love her. So that's the monthly, but we also have the matching weekly as well, as usual. I can grab all of her pages. Here is the weekly kit. Oh, she's so pretty. So we have that same little scene here um, that was on the full boxes with the coat hook, coat hook, coat rack. That same like outdoor bistro sort of scene here. The quote says, be a voice, not an echo. Really cute outfit flat lay here. This really pretty like uh, like fall type of pond with some ducks and then there's like a little paper boat in it. And we have that same little cinnamon roll flat lay. Mm, need that so much. And then of course florals. The colors for this kit are, I don't know why they make me hungry. I think they remind me of um, that ice cream where it's like the pink and white and brown ice cream with the strawberry chocolate and vanilla combo. I think that's why it's making me hungry looking at it, but yeah. And like I said, it's in champagne gold foil. With these colors, I almost, almost, almost wanted to do rose gold, but September was rose gold, and I already designed November, and November is rose gold too, and I actually think December might end up being rose gold too. I'm on the, I'm between rose gold and gold for my December kit. I don't know if I can pull off silver with it, but um... So I just felt like champagne gold looked really good with this. I'm actually surprised by how good it looks. So I really feel like I made the like the best choice, especially with these florals having like some yellows and peaches in them. I feel like the champagne gold complements it really well. Anyway, here is the functional page. We have this really pretty like squiggle with some splatters around it for the headers. And then of course your foiled floral headers. Here is the bottom washi, that same squiggle with the splatter for the um, washi. And then we have the foiled florals. Let me know if you want this squiggly splatter as a, like the dividers and the washi as a permanent item in the shop. Um, I already made them into their own stickers for the foil add-on. That's upside down. Now my dogs didn't get the memo that I'm filming. Um, not that they understand what I'm saying half the time anyway. Um, your date covers are in pink. Oh yeah, as I was saying, let me know if you want them as their own stickers because I did do them that way for the foil add-on. So maybe that would be something you guys are interested in. I feel like that type of stuff is the type of stuff that you guys like, but I don't know. Um, could be wrong. And then we have your assortment of deco here. Here is that foil add-on I was talking about. So we have the washi and the divider version. We have a handful of these splatter clusters, which these are already in the shop. Um, we have some leaves, like leaf outlines and solid ones, some like little leaf mini deco and 
leaf cluster deco coffee rings the coffee rings are in the shop as well and we have a ton of leaf stuff in the shop too and then we have like these little tiny like bloop, leaves bloop. um yeah so i'm gonna really think here is the deco add-on of course if you don't pick up the weekly kit you can always pick up these add-ons to complement the monthly kit if you only want the monthly so that's always fun here's the deco here is the journal add-on, the floral deco add-on, and then the alcohol ink swatch add-on, again, giving me ice cream vibes. So that is the weekly kit. I think before I show you our last kit for the week, I'm just going to go ahead and flip through the decorative kit and the pet tape. Let me do the pet tape first because I have a habit of forgetting that and I don't want to create it this week. Well, let me know if you saw the ASMR video that I posted on Instagram. I think I posted it on TikTok too. Um, making these like super like aesthetic like deckle edge. I'm trying to see if I have them on my desk. I don't really know where I put them after I spent that much time making them. Um, I made like some ASMR videos of me like making those super like like that torn paper edge like pet tape swatches and that video was 20 minutes long and I somehow cut it down to a minute and 30 seconds I don't know how I did that um but I actually I actually like when I was trying to like grip the corner of it to rip it um the corner of the paper went down under my nail and gave me a paper cut under this nail and then um, I guess Bill wasn't expecting me to film for that long and I specifically told him that I was filming ASMR so I need him to be like dead quiet and he started watching like the news on his phone at like full blast near the end of the video and I just kept like my table kept jiggling and I kind of regret using my Dear Emmy desk mat in the background because I feel like the um pink like threw off the color balance in the video like when I was editing it and it was just a whole disaster but after spending that much time like I think I spent almost an hour editing the video and I spent 20 minutes making it I was like I gotta post it um so if you haven't checked that out already um you should go ahead and check it out and give it a like and yeah because that was that was not my best work, but it's fine, it's fine. But I have to make swatches of this. I really wanted to take pictures of them that way to have like some physical images of it on the website. Um, just because I feel like it's kind of hard to get the vibe of pet tape itself, like just the way that I digitally put it up. And I also don't know like how else I'm supposed to like show you guys. So I don't know, whatever. I just thought I would, it, it was funny and I would give you guys that little backstory um, since you're here anyway. So anyway, here is the pet tape for the, um, the October monthly. So you have, I tried to fill it in a little bit more with like leaves and like coffee stains and stuff like that, just to make it feel like a little bit more full than I normally do. Um, I know some changes that I want to make to like the pet tape possibly and like the washi, not the washi, um, like the monthly and stuff that I want to do, but um, I've already designed November and December and it just felt weird to like maybe start it out on December. So I'm brainstorming what I want to do differently for January. Um, so yeah, love her. So cute. I actually forgot to order this before I left for Korea. So um, that was fun. It almost didn't get here in time. Um, yeah. So here is the, let's go on to the decorative kit since I'm already like babbling about everything. So here is the flowers pages, if I could be in frame. The edges, oh, my AC is turning on. Um, the bouquets, the corners, the borders, 
the dates and dots, the days, paper strips, box swatches, deco, washi swatches, and then the mini swatches. So that is everything for the decorative kit. I always say that the decorative kit is the best deal during the release week because you get 20% off when you buy the bundle and then you get an additional 10% off by ordering it the first week. So save a lot of money that way, ordering the bundle at least. And then here's our last new release kit for the week. It's called Plan. Um, so up here we have this really cute like coffee with pumpkins and some bags. This girl here with a planner and glasses and a letter. Here is a laptop and a like flat lay with a notebook. Um, yesterday, I'm gonna go on another tangent now just because, I don't know, I'm in a talking mood. Um, yesterday we were at my mom's house for her birthday and when I was younger I had this little Barbie laptop and it has like all these different games on it and I remember so vividly playing with it and my mom still had it apparently and she gave it to Emma, my daughter. That laptop's literally like 20 something years old. Um, so to my surprise we put batteries in it and it still worked and it's a little advanced for Emma because it has like spelling and she's not spelling yet and it has like math and I mean, she's starting to learn addition and stuff, but not enough to be able to like play like addition games. Um, but it's just so funny because she calls it, they are like, oh, are you going to bring your computer? And she calls it her pewter. And we're just like, what are you talking about? And she's like, my pewter. And we're like, you mean computer? She won't, she like refuses to even try to say the word properly. So we just told her to call it her laptop because we have no clue what she's saying, like out of context. <laughs> But anyway, so here we have the quote box that says autumn exists to remind us that things must end to begin again. And then I don't know if I said here, but it says give yourself credit for how far you've come. Floral box, a little bookshelf, more florals, and then this really pretty film strip with these two girls, like one studying and one looking at books. Here is the color palette. We have like this like super reddish like I don't want to say terracotta color but it's like if you took terracotta and like made it like a brighter red and then we have like a peachy orange color and then two different shades of like nudish colors I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already but it's in rose gold foil we have this really pretty like leaf vine header and then the foiled florals same leaf vine washi there Oop. and then of course you have your date covers and then some deco this slippers look really fuzzy here is the um, words are easy um, the foil add-on then we have on here we have the vine washi and vine dividers we have these little film strips like double frames and then a full frame um, and then we have a bunch of coffee rings some like wavy film strips that would be really good for layering and then this these are individual um, words so you can make your own little like word layering so it says give yourself credit for how far you've come which matches the full box here is the deco add-on and the journal add-on here is the floral deco add-on let me zoom in a little bit of course i say this now that i'm 20 minutes into the video and the alcohol ink swatch add-on so that is everything that i have for you guys this week i really hope that you enjoy this week's new releases 
Um, I'm so excited about this October monthly. I'm also like really excited about the November monthly and the December monthly too. Um, so can't wait to show you guys those, but October is super fun. Don't forget about the terrible washi and then the um, like the overlay version of it as well and then the knit stuff um, this week. Let me know what you think about um, terrible washi. Um, like is that something you want to see more of? I did get a lot of requests for it so I'm assuming that you guys want to see more of it but I mean I could be wrong. Um, so just let me know. But yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys. Don't forget that um, you can save 10% on these new releases this week only. Um, so if you're thinking of picking something up, pick it up this week. Um, and I think that is everything that I have to tell you guys. The um, We just posted the July mood board on Instagram yesterday, but it's been on our website for a little while now, so... Um, if you haven't seen it, there's that. Also, the ASMR video I was telling you about. Check that out, too. Um, and I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.